Hey guys, this is Smriti. Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. Today we are going to do a Taurus inspired makeup look. Or you can also say a Natasha Denona mini retro inspired makeup look. I absolutely love this look. For this look, I basically used my Glam Light Dirty Martini palette and my Natasha Denona Coral palette. And that is how I achieved this look. This is so simple to achieve. I basically used three shadows for this look and I am loving it. So if you guys want to see how I achieved this look, then please keep on watching. I'm so ready for this. I really wanted to do this look for a long time. It's just that I did not get time in between all the other videos. So here it is. It is a Taurus inspired makeup look. And I have a few things in my mind, what colors I want to use and all. Let's begin. I already did my base, as you can see. Uh, for my foundation, I did apply my Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation in the shade Latte. For the primer, I did use my Catrice Prime and Fine Keep Me Matte Primer. For the concealer, I did use my Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer in the shade 145. And for the powder, I use my Maybelline's Fit Me Powder, the Loose Setting Powder. So that's basically what I have and my brows are elf brow pencil. <laughs> so that's what I have on my face. I did my brows so that I don't waste time. So for my bronzer, I am using this glowish bronzer in the shade 03 tan light. So basically Taurus is like a very, you know, dependable sun sign. It is very earthy in tones and all. So the colors that describe Taurus is basically uh, like earthy greens. So I would think like sage green. Um, nothing like grassy or anything like very earthy very dirty kind of green and also uh, very light like a pale pink so as soon as I thought of like pale pinks and like earthy greens actually the planet like just jumped onto me was uh, Natasha Denona's a mini retro palette now because I do not have that palette I thought of using my Natasha Denona coral palette and then I thought of glam light dirty martini palette so we are basically going to use those shades from those palettes and see what we come out with on my lips I actually just have like a lip balm a tinted lip balm from Ilia but we're going to change our lips I just wanted some moisturization on my lips so that's what we did <laughs> now for my blush I'm basically going to use my uh, Natasha Denona Coral Palette and I'm going to use this shade which is called Lyria and use that as my blush because I think it will tie together very nicely. So I'm going to take that shade and I'm going to put that. See how beautiful that shade is? And I can use that same shade for my crease too, that light pale pink shade that is like defined for Taurus people. By the way, I do have like the whole playlist of this like sun sign astrology inspired makeup look. The two sun signs that I did not dip into was Taurus and Capricorn. So I thought of doing Taurus today and I'll do Capricorn in like December, January because their birthday fall in that month. So I think that would be really good. Now for the highlighter, I want to do like a pinky goldeny highlighter. So I'm going to use my Sydney Grace highlighter and this is in the shade uh, Sweet Peach. Why not? Just do something fancy, right? You need like a very tiny little bit. So I'm just going to swirl that shade on my uh, Real Techniques brush. And this is the setting brush. I'm going to take that. You need like a very tiny bit super pigmented so i'm just gonna buff it into my skin so that it melts into the skin very nicely and i'm also gonna take the same highlighter on my nose and just to set my face i'm just gonna take my mario badesco uh, mist and this is with aloe herbs and rose water i'm gonna take it like pretty far away from me because it's a pretty heavy spray just like that so that just melts everything together now let's move on to the eyes and when i'm doing my eyes i'll explain a lot of the characteristics of taurus that i have read so yeah bear with me <laughs> so first i'm going to take this shade lyria from the coral palette from natasha denona i think this pale uh pink shade determines that taurus is like very trustworthy and very practical in their decisions they are actually the one who like make reservations prior to the commitment and they're the ones who are like very very dependable out of the sun signs uh, that we have 
It's such a beautiful color. I really like it. Like I often dip into this palette for that shade. You'll feel like that shade is like very common, but it's so beautiful. Forest people are very charming. They're just gifted people. They are so good with like observational skills. They're the people who like really observe people's skills everywhere they go. They really have like a great judgment for like character of the people. They really judge and, and do their due diligence like really well. And because of their like observational skills, they are really great at like problem solving. So if you have any problems in your life, I think you need a Taurus in your life. They'll help you out with anything and everything. They're very like strong, very like dependable people. Like they'll not betray you. They'll just stand by you like a rock throughout your life. I really love like Taurus people. So that was like one shade that I used from the Natasha Denona Coral palette. Now let's dip into the Child palette for that, you know, that dirty green shade. And I think that this shade, Float Your Crib, would be really good. But if you do not have this shade, I would say even uh, if you have purchased this Glam Light Dirty Martini palette, the shade which is called Dirty Wormout would be really good. So let's just play with this actually. Because it's a newer palette, I think you would want to see more looks out of it. So let's dip into actually Dirty Wormout and a little bit of extra dirty. And this is like a brown with a green undertone. So it will go really good with this eye look. So if I have to tell like one negative thing about a Taurus, I would say the extremely stubborn, <laughs> at least the Taurus that are in my life, they're extremely stubborn and they're very like possessive. And I think that comes with like that dependable characteristics that they have in their, you know, star sign, sun sign. These two go so well together. The reason why I purchased this Glam Light Dirty Martini palette was because I'm not like a big green person. But this palette is actually, I mean, I am loving this palette. The blendability is so good. The shimmers in this palette are so lovely. And paired with that Natasha Denona Coral palette, which actually is on a sale, it just gives me all those retro vibes. Actually, the mini retro palette from Natasha Denona, I feel like if you are a medium skin tone person uh, or a deep skin tone person or a dark skin tone person, that palette would tend to be a little light on you just because it has a very like pale coral shade. But if you talk about that coral palette from Natasha Denona, that goes pretty deep. So I feel like if you're a medium person, this would be like really best for your skin type. I'm gonna take that Liria shade from the Coral palette again, just blend everything out, just so that I get that green, but I definitely don't wanna lose that pink. Now for the shimmer shade, I'm again gonna dip into the Dirty Martini palette, and I'm gonna take this shade actually called Chilled, and this is basically like, it has like a sparkly green shade, but the undertone is very pinky rosy. I think that would complement this eye look really, really good. So I'm very, very excited about that. Let's take it with the fingers. I'm gonna take that. Look at that. It's such a unique shimmer shade. Oh my God, this is stunning. And I think this actually resembles with that uh, shimmer shade in the mini retro palette. Oh my God, it's such a beautiful shade. Love it. I think if you are looking for like a, a green palette and if you are not a green wearer, I think you should go with this. I don't think you'll be disappointed because you definitely do get those greens and teals and blues, but the shimmers are such wearable tones that you would not be disappointed to like mix and match with the other palettes that you have in your collection. I think it'll be stunning. I love it. And whatever is left on my fingers, I'm going to just take that on the middle of my lower lash line just to give that sparkle. Just like that. Oh my God. I'm just going to take the same green brush that we use. It's more of like a fluffy but flat brush from Colourpop. This is, oh, this is not Colourpop. This is Morphe Jaclyn Hill uh, brush, JH33. 
I'm just gonna blend everything together with no additional product. That was such a simple look, but such a stunning look in my opinion. Okay, let's finish off my eyes with some liner and mascara and I'll get right back. I'm gonna take the same shade, Dirty Worm Mouth and Extra Dirty together. And I'm gonna just buff that in my lower lash line too. Especially in the outer corners. I'm loving this eye look. Not even gonna lie. It's come out really nicely, especially in person. I don't know uh, how is the camera capturing it, but in person, it looks stunning, absolutely stunning. And that shade, I think, determines Taurus so nicely because they're very independent in self-confidence. And that shade just like screams off the rooftop of being like confident, you know? I love, love this look. So whatever is on my lips, let me just take that off. And then let me just line my lips with NYX Brown Lip Pencil. Now, because Taurus are very like grounded and trustworthy, I think brown really resembles their uh, character. And for that, that is why I'm going to use this brown lip pencil from NYX. This is such an earthy tone. It's perfect for them. Now for the lipstick, I'm going to take my Maybelline's Ultimate Lipstick and this is in the shade More Buff. Now, I think the pink is like their vivacious nature that they have. And that I think makes the Taurus like revitalized. And that's why this pink is coming. So I definitely wanted to mix that pink with that earthy brown. Do you get what I'm saying? Are we on the same page? I love it. I love this look. Oh my God. This actually might be like my favorite uh, sun sign inspired look that I've created. Oh my God, I love it. Now talking about Taurus, Taurus is an earth sign and the symbol that symbolizes Taurus is bull. The people who are Taurus have birthdays from April 21st to May 20th. Taurus people are extremely strong-willed. They're so determined and extremely hardworking people. And that just stands out in any Taurus that you have like met in your life, I would say. All the Tauruses that I can think of are like extremely hardworking. And I think those are like the top characteristics of Taurus that like stands out to every person that comes across them. I know I'm late to the game, but I can say it for a fact that Taurus people are so trustworthy. I absolutely love Taurus. So let me just give you a final look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I had so much fun recreating like a Taurus inspired makeup look and I could have never imagined these colors would look great together, which I absolutely, I'm head over heels with this look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you did like this, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I leave the playlist on the screen for you guys to check it out. I think you would absolutely love it. If you have not checked out your sun sign makeup tutorial that I have created, then definitely check it out and let me know in the comment section below, how do you like it? I generally post three days every single week, every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.